Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube and today I'm going to shoot a spray can on 20 meters with a 22 cal Sumatra air gun PCP slash awesomeness gravity you have to doesn't smell good so let's see how the scan will pop cool okay guys so I shot it right uh, at the side as you can see so uh, yeah awesome thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and uh, see you soon hi guys we are out here on the farm today uh, we are going to see uh, what we can get uh, the plan is to maybe get some some guinea fowl and some pigeons but there are also uh, some Egyptian geese on the dams and some spurring geese uh, on the fields so we will see if we can maybe get uh, one or two of them also I will be shooting with my FX impact I'll be shooting 25 grain H&N slugs at around 960 feet per second and my friend will be shooting with uh, Sumatra also 22 caliber he will be shooting JSB uh, 25.39 grain pellets at around 1050 feet per second so both of us will buckle the wind quite quite nicely uh, sorry if the wind uh, noise is very bad I am trying to use a, a mic uh, to help with that but we'll see how the footage comes out um, but yeah let's see if we can get anything and I hope you enjoy nice There we have the little house sparrow. Um, Arvia is shooting with uh, Sumatra in 22 caliber. Uh, I hope you can hear me in this wind. Uh, he's shooting 25 grain uh, JSBs at around 1050 feet per second. And that is more than enough for a little house sparrow and it's, uh, they really help with this wind. Okay, so here is the spewing that I shot now on roughly 120 meters. Um, it is a, a headshot exactly in the eye. Well, just like three millimeters behind the eye. So I'm pretty happy with that shot. Okay guys, uh, we are here at the spurring goose that I shot. Uh, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this. It was uh, quite a distance. I think it was 70, 75 meters. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it took about a second or two just to, just to go down. But I would say 25 grain slug um, did the job uh, pretty well. It's quite a big, big beautiful uh, animal uh, it has almost like uh, where is that it almost has like teeth 
they are busy uh, harvesting the fields so um, then these birds come in there's still a lot uh, of places to harvest here so uh, we will do a lot more videos uh, maybe get a few uh, porcupines also um, in the night so stay tuned for that but I'm pretty happy with with my big bird okay guys I got my guinea fowl I just uh, because of technical difficulties uh, it did not record but here is the guinea fowl it was on about 100 meters uh, in this wind as you can see behind me uh, I had to hold about almost three mill dots uh, so it was quite quite windy but here is the guinea fowl uh, let me pick it up show you quite a nice bird uh, I'm not sure where I hit um, let me just try and see uh, I think there it is yeah, so it was a, a vital a lung shot I'm pretty happy uh, yeah let's see if we can get any more they are quite um, skittish they don't uh, uh, they don't let you come very close to them but we'll see if we can get any get one on camera hopefully but uh, so far the day is going quite nice it is very cold this wind is not very nice but with the 25 grain slugs and the 25 grain, uh, grain pellets we are pretty much doing doing well Is this a good sock? Okay, so here we are at the, at the ground squirrels. There's the one, uh, there's the one, there's the other one. Um, both headshot, headshot there. Uh, that is also a headshot, it's a bit graphic on the other side, but they are down. Um, they, everywhere here is a bunch of holes, and there at the back, uh, the whole, um, I don't know what you call that in English, but the whole Venacker thing is uh, full of holes. There are hundreds of holes and a lot of ground squirrels, but it's quite cold and windy today, so they're not uh, out and about too much, but at least uh, we could get uh, two of them. So let's see if we can get anything more. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay guys, uh, we are just waiting for the wind to blow uh, the one Egyptian ge uh, goose that we shot uh, towards us. Um, we are just waiting here at the dam. Sorry, it's very bright, the sun. It's somewhere there. Um, it's on its way to us. So we're just waiting, then we'll go and fetch it. Uh, yeah, so far this day is pretty, pretty good. Um, 
got a bunch of Egyptian geese, got the spurwing goose, some doves, pigeons, um, a sparrow, so all, all good so far. Um, yeah, so it's quite cold. I think I will have to take my pants off to go into the, into the dam because I'm uh, wearing jeans. So that's not going to be the most fun, but yeah, you shoot, you go get. Got the Egyptian goose. No, spurring goose. It's a smaller spurring goose. I can see him up a record. Or what? Up. Hey, Tom. Ja, daar vallen we. Oké, zo daar is de pigeon, upside down, gone. Looks like almost a shot a bit low, but I'm pretty happy. Okay, let's try out of the shoulder. Is that 50 meters? There's another. Down. So we had a nice day on the farm today. We got some geese, some pigeons, some doves, uh, some ground squirrels, uh, some uh, sparrows. It uh, was quite a successful day. Um, it's quite windy and cold, but uh, yeah, the slugs really, really did well. 
when they've done harvesting a bit more of the fields we will go and uh, drive around them see what's there and also go out and get some uh, some porcupines and see uh, how the slugs uh, fare with them but for now the sun is starting to set and it's getting even even colder the wind is um, still still blowing so i think we're gonna call it a day thanks for watching if you would like to see more like and subscribe if you have any ideas or comments you can just leave them down below and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one